Do you miss playing Dungeons and Dragons or just have a hard time finding a group in your hometown? Maybe you just wish you could play more. On Discord, we created a community of over 100 people who are playing D&D around the clock. By integrating Discord and D&D Beyond, we're able to provide an immersive experience that is the first of its kind. You can create a character from 1st to 15th level and then roleplay 24-7 in our Discord channels while combating monsters, crafting weapons, training new skills, and searching for items across our campaign world. You'll also have the chance to participate in random combat encounters and go on monthly virtual quests. Ever wanted to try your hand at being a dungeon master? Or maybe you're an experienced dungeon master and just want the chance to run more adventures. As a community DM, you can run encounters and virtual quests for the community based on monthly modules written by our very own accomplished plot team. Join us. Join us. Check it out. Join the Discord. Join us. Join us. And let's create incredible stories together. Hello everyone and welcome to our three-part one-shot for Cyberpunk Red. Um, first off, wanted to obviously thank everyone for watching. If it wasn't for the viewership that we've had on our channel around Cyberpunk Red, that has been incredibly successful thanks to everyone that has tuned in over the last number of years to watch our Team Monster sessions, uh, we wouldn't be doing this. And so thank you for doing that. Uh, you have been asking for more Cyberpunk content. Uh, for a while now, and so this is our opportunity in order to do that. We're very, very excited to offer you all a bit more cyberpunk um, in the world of the red in the year 2045. Um, we are learning as we go. So I have played Cyberpunk Red five times, maybe six times. I have never run it. And so <laughs> this is a learning experience for me, and it's a learning experience for the folks at the table. Um, Mark and I are the only people who have played it. So even the other players, this is their first time <laughs> doing Brand all this new, so yeah. uh i expect all the comments about all the rules we've gotten wrong uh i mean years after doing the other dungeons and dragons 5e that we've been doing uh <laughs> still five years later uh we still get lots of comments about what we get wrong yep so we're used to it so anyways but this is a learning experience for us um and are thankful that you're watching and enjoying it with us uh i want to thank our channel sponsors up front uh world anvil uh thank you so much for uh being our main uh, channel sponsor uh, an incredible service for creating in-world uh wiki type kind of historical um world building um the tools and opportunities so check it out worldanvil.com very very cool uh, of course sirenscape which is super awesome for us uh has been for many 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 years um, and um, 
also, I'm turning down Sirenscape because it's a little loud right now, but they do have <laughs> official cyberpunk red content. Uh, you can uh, check them out at sirenscape.com. Um, and uh, again, the, we'll, you, everything that we're doing tonight from a sound perspective, all the sound effects and the music is from Sirenscape. So make sure that you check them out. And of course, Forge Gaming, uh, who provides us all of our dice um, and all of the accessories that we use on our channel as well. Uh, for this series specifically, I want to thank three series sponsors. The first one is D3 at Sea. Of course, we are currently in the San Juan uh, port yes. in Puerto Rico. You can't tell because there's a, well, you can sort of tell <laughs> because there's a cruise ship behind us. But earlier today, there wasn't a cruise ship, but we could see the beauty of San Juan. Right now, you can't uh, because MSC kind of pulled in uh, to block our view. Our but new anyways, channel sponsor, uh, yes, MSC. MSC. <laughs> no, they're, not a, they're, not, they're not a channel sponsor. Uh, but D3 at Sea is an amazing RPG uh, cruise. Uh, experience that we are currently on and we are joined by a live audience in the room yeah! um, who are watching and it was just a great opportunity for all of us who happen to be on a boat stuck in a boat for a week uh, to create some some a, a, a additional content uh, sorry <laughs> there was another, I thought you were I, no having a no no okay. I, I just I skipped <laughs> okay <laughs> there was a there was a glitch in the matrix uh, a glitch, a glitch in the net architecture glitch in the, in the net, net. Yeah. in the yeah, net in the net yeah. so thank you D3 at C and you can check them out at D3 at C.com uh, Monster Fight Club, of course, creates uh, official miniatures for Cyberpunk Red. Uh, we will not be using miniatures uh, for this, um, but you can definitely check them out at monsterfightclub.com. Uh, and we will be in the future, because this is actually a test for us for future Cyberpunk content. Um, we are looking to create more for the channel and leaning into that uh, a lot more. And so thank you to Monster Fight Club. And of course, finally, Roll20. We're using their tools currently to run this game. It has been really great over the last couple of days. We've been creating our characters and using Roll20 to do that. We're also using Roll20 for a map uh, as well of uh, and for the adventure. Um, and you can check them out because they do ha also have official cyberpunk support. Um, and so you can get all of the assets and rules and so on to run your cyberpunk games over and using Roll20. Finally, I just want to thank, of course, the cast. And I want to thank Tony Gao for hosting us in his Yes, suite. thank you, Tony. Uh, thank you so much for that. Um, we are currently in one of the, the, the incredibly, obviously, beautiful suite uh, <laughs> aboard the ship. And so he was uh, gracious enough to allow us to uh, play in the suite. So thank you so much. Uh, and you are... Incredible. All right, let us dive right in. Without further ado, let us venture into the time of the red. You are all currently on a luxury cruise line. What? what? Um, not the size of this ship that we are currently on physically, but you are on kind of a luxury yacht. Uh, you were all invited for different reasons. Um, and as we go through and do character intros, we can kind of talk about what those reasons might be. Um, but this luxury cruise yacht, in the time of the red, unfortunately, the oceans are full of sludge and pollution and have been um, uh, rotted away and destroyed by the wars of the last number of decades. And so uh, currently this yacht actually has a dome over it that actually projects a beautiful si uh, skyscape um, when you're out on the deck. And so it's almost like a virtual cruise. You still feel the, 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 the motion of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> There. Yep. It is cyberpunk, so it's not quite the normal PG-13. Anyway, mm. Sorry, yep. I, I digress. Mm. But uh, it's hot in here. Um, <laughs> and I'm probably five shades it's of red. It's the motion of that ocean, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, five shades of red. Uh, Anyways, <laughs> five shades of red. This yes, is a five, mess that is already. The new I don't want this game. Five Plus shades of red. something else, it is now five shades of red. Actually, that's incredible. That's, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. I like something. it. Something. All right. Um, wow, get back in here, folks. Um, Don't. Anyways, and the intention of this ship and what you've heard is actually instead of stopping in a port, 
because it doesn't. It just cruises the open sludgy ocean. Mm. Um, you actually jack into your virtuality goggles in your suite, and you all go out into port together in virtual reality. And so there's this kind of like very realistic. Uh, virtual sort of experience where you know you 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 visit all these areas or places around the world while you're on the ship, and that's part of the whole experience. Um, let's do character introductions real quick. Um, starting, of course, to my left with this fantastic individual, um, Mark. Uh, if you could tell us who you are uh, in real life, and then tell us who you're playing in the Time of the Red. Uh, I'm Mark Beer. I'll be playing Hunter B. Gatherin, Doctor of Journalism. <laughs> Work for the scream sheets. You understand? Get the word out to the people. Dig deep. <laughs> Peel the nut of the thing. The story. That's what I'm here for. I'll be uh, looking for rumors on board this ship. I'll be using one of my class abilities right away. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Let me say this. When the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. I am certainly both of those. Ask anyone. They know. They'll tell you I'm both weird and a pro. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mark. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. I'm uh, concerned. <laughs> me too. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Dot. You can find me online as Little Red Dot uh, and all things Cobalt Press. Um, I'm playing Ixtal. Ixtal is a solo. She's a bit rough around the edges. She uh, likes to consider herself an investigator, but really it's the assassin jobs that pay the bills. So I would imagine she's on this cruise either for an assassin job or because she hates the corporate structure so very much, she's looking to tear this boat down. Mm. Mm. Little, little, uh, maybe she turns off the dome so people have to see the reality of what they are cruising in. Sure. Those kinds of things, little, sure. little punk rock around the edges. Right on. So you paid your way onto the ship in order to bring it down. To, to, to ruin everybody to else's good time. Yeah, sponsor. to stick it to the corporate man. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like She's it. there to stick it to the yeah. man. And and the ship is full of very affluent corporate folks who can afford something of this magnitude. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yourself, why would you be on the ship, actually? Huh? On assignment. Okay. I'm not actually sure who's paying the tab this time, but <laughs> someone will. <laughs> Fair enough. I have run up quite a room service bill already. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> good. <laughs> Even before my arrival, it was exorbitant. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, Joel. Uh, yes, my name is Joel. I am a Realmsmither. Yes, so I'm you are. a regular on the Realmsmith uh, series of games that we stream online. And uh, that was too much detail for that sentence. Perfect. Um, Nailed it. <laughs> and, uh, and for this particular game, I am playing Yuri Yarbovich who happens to be a netrunner who uh, helps to make things accessible and uh, is also able to see things in situations that others cannot see them in. He's very welcoming, but slightly aloof. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good. And why would Yuri be on this uh, cruise? Uh, he is currently um, trying, he's working for someone, mm. for a, a group of freelancers mm. uh, as a net runner, mm. and is participating in a in a test function, this environment that he's in. Oh, so uh, he's, he's kind of like the tech support mm -hmm. of the cruise for the virtuality aspect That's of what's correct. happening. Oh. That's correct. Mm. That's very good. Did he maybe, uh, did he help write maybe the program that is running the S virtual? Some might say he wrote some of the code that is currently running on the ship. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah. yeah very collaborative. Some yeah. might say. Which ones? <laughs> <laughs> you will get to find out. What percentage of all would you say is some? Uh, of the whole thing, perhaps there may be, maybe, uh, depending between codes going in and jacking codes out. All I'm we'll... just saying is 99% is some and so is 1%. It's true. And so let's decide when we have more time for conversation. Of course, of course. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> it's good. Uh -huh. And of course, uh, someone who is obviously well known by our Realm Smith audience. What to do? Hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard. I'm an active vocalist, tabletop professional, high mess of jack of all trades, master of like three of them. Uh, and today I am playing Kijani Adebayo, but you can call him Kairon. He is a med tech working on the ship um, because he's broke. And he needs money. Um, and you all keep getting hurt. And you give him money when you get hurt. So it's a win-win. It's fine. Does he like you? Don't know. 
Find out don't, when he don't. tries to heal you. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Awesome. All right. Good stuff. Um, you are joined by, I'd say, a half dozen other corporate individuals aboard the ship. Hate it. Um, you have been you've been aboard the ship for a couple days um, already sailing. You already went into port um, the day just prior. Uh, if you went in or not is totally up to you. Uh, and you are currently all. It is very late in the evening, um, and you are all sleeping. Um, when you are woken abruptly by um, a what sounds like an alarm of sorts within the uh, and Sirenscape would be, I'm, I'm looking for an alarm sound <laughs> and that is why I am uh, slowly uh, trying to kill time um, here it is um, it's so does quiet. it the relaxing are alarm. we in our own private spaces there it is Ooh. That isn't. That's the wrong kind of siren. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Close. That's a, it works now. It's very much close. I mean, it's the future. It can be too. any siren we want. It, it's true. Mm -hmm. it, it's very. It's this true. one now. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it's going a long time, um, but that's good. There it goes. Okay, so you hear a siren kind of sound, and immediately you hear and you are woken by the sound of a a very strong locking mechanism on each of your cabins. Um, the three of you are staying in sort of the paid for uh, quarters. Uh, sorry, the two of you are staying in the paid quarters. Um, and that it, it's a smaller sort of cabin with a double bed uh, and, and an ensuite washroom. You and Yuri are staying sort of in the staff quarters, which are in the aft of the ship. Um, sorry, not in the aft, uh, in the in the bow of the ship. Okay. Um, and that is where there's a number of bunks and so on and so forth. Um, but because you are contractors and not necessarily actually just crew who are running it, you have a bit of a nicer room than the rest would. Um, but hey. it is just a bit of a smaller uh, bed in a smaller cabin size. Um, as you hear these sort of uh, technological and strong locks kind of engage, what do you all do? Does it sound like the locks are like locking us into the room or does it sound like the locks are like something around happening around the ship itself? That is a great question. What skill on your character sheet would you Ooh. want to employ in order to do to figure that out? Thank you so much for asking, uh, storyteller. Um, <laughs> um, is this? I don't know. They call him in Cyberpunk. Uh, yeah, the, thank the, you so much, game punk, gang, punk, gang, gang punk. Um, <laughs> um, I would think great. this is some kind of perceptive. Um, um, skill. Sure. Um, that is what I am going to. There is human perception, but this is more awareness as a whole. Yeah. So I would think this is straight up perception. Okay, give me a perception check. First roll of the day. If yes, it sucks, first roll of the day. Oh. I'm Let's fighting do it. all Let's of you. Do it. I'm fighting all of you. Which way may happen? 17. 17. That's not bad. All right. We're each in our own individual rooms, I assume. Yes, you're each in your own individual rooms. Yeah. Rather than making the roll, I'm going to try the door. Okay, fair enough. Meanwhile, okay. meanwhile, yeah, meanwhile doing absolutely, like I like it. So you go and uh, as a perception check, you kind of stand up and you think that it has locked the door. Like it's it's a stronger lock than the lock that was on it when mm -hmm. you just tapped your card and you closed it. And it was, this is like a sound, which was actually quite a bit more intense than the normal locking mechanism that exists yes. for that door. You try the door, it does not budge. Uh, I'll immediately use my internal agent to contact yes. the concierge. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Um, as you engage your agent um, to contact the car uh, concierge, uh, and it, your agent rings, and as it's ringing... Or I should say, uh, whatever the nautical equivalent of the sure. concierge. Sure, the, the concierge yeah. is good. Um, there is no answer on the other side of the concierge. Mm. What the shit? <laughs> Ixtal is just consistently paranoid, so she sleeps with all of her clothes on, all of her guns under a pillow at her side. Yeah, all and I imagine once the uh, alarm goes off, she sits straight up in bed and like points a gun to only catch the door locking. She goes, fuck me. Uh, and she gets up and she kind of gears up and she goes to the door. I dare say, uh, oh, no. these heavy locks, could they be broken? You can absolutely try. She she checks it and 
she does not like to be confined to spaces. Yeah, uh, sure. She doesn't like to be locked down by the man, if you know what I mean. Sure. Um, you see her pull from two sides a set of brass knuckles, and she slides them on her wrist. And she goes, I was just supposed to be here to kill a man. Now i got to beat my way out of this room. And she's going to try to break the door open with her bare knuckles. Okay. She is not staying locked in by anybody else's uh, say but her own. Okay. Um, what are you going to use in order to do that? That's a great question. So I have a set of brass knuckles. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm happy to uh, roll some kind of combat uh, yes. with the metal knuckles, maybe, Absolutely. to see if I just manage sure. some damage. Uh, do you have a brawling skill? I do have a brawl right. skill for my body. Let's see, that would be... Or a martial fighting. arts skill, if you've got that. No, hers make more is sense. very, very brawl based just okay so it's your attack it's your dex plus rel relevant melee attack skill so if you're using melee melee oh can melee. i use melee weapon instead of brawling sure then? okay yeah you sure can and then plus 1d10 okay so it was a 20 on the melee weapon plus the knuckles yeah which roll to be um it looks like nine damage all right and <clears throat> let me just take a look here at all of my new tables um If it feels like this magnetic lock is not going to budge under her, you know, uh, heavy-handed yep. uh, option, uh, she will try a different route, but she needs to see if she can do it. Yeah, okay, so that was nine? Correct. Okay. Plus the 20 weapon attack. Sure, sure. Um, so you absolutely hit, obviously, it's a stationary door, um, but <laughs> as you hit it, you dent it, but it's not quite through, and you think it's going to take some some. It would. It will take more than a few couple put punches. Then, yeah. I dare ask. Um, I am sure Ixtal is not uh, a wealthy uh, solo, but do I have an interior cabin, or is there a window? Uh, there is a window yes, in this cabin. Um, there absolutely is, and it's a porthole with kind of drapes in front of it. Oh, I see. Um, and. As you go and you open up the window, you see what appears to be a very starry, beautiful sort of skyscape. It's a lie. You know yes. that. I know it's a lie. Yeah, it is. Are we on this, the second or like a lower deck? Lower deck. So a deck just above, basically just above the water. The water itself. Yeah, so the window would be above the water. But you imagine part of the deck would be, or part of your room would be underwater. Well, swinging out the window doesn't seem like an option uh, at this moment. She's not a, a, a small-framed woman, so I don't think her, her body would actually fit through a porthole uh, of that size. So she opts into continuing, I think, at the door. Actually, who's next door? Who's my, Do I know who's staying next yeah. to me? Um, so you know that there is a uh, two corporate individuals who have kind of kept them themselves <laughs> to the left and the right. You know that a hunter is just the, the door right across from you. Um, and you can decide whether or not you've, how you kind of mix with each other. Oh, I think um, we've probably seen each other in the hallway. In the hallways are across the way. But hunter I, always gives a friendly greeting. Good evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I presume. Uh, she probably gives you a grunt, uh, but and, and a polite nod. Um, okay, well then breaking through a wall is also not an option. I was just gonna burst into the room next door. <laughs> you wow. can absolutely. Um, once, once I noticed that um, the thing is locked. Again, I have worked here for quite some time. Mm. So I know that, as you said, I know the difference between a and a do doom. Yes. Um, telling me there's an emergency. So I'm going to gather my belongings, but I'm also going to use my interior, uh, my bio monitor to access my agent and contact my superior yeah. to see if they know what's going on. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So as you access your agent, um, Again, I'm going to use this awesome agent sound because it's really great. It's so good. <laughs> uh, it, it is in here. It's not. I guess, you know what? I think I have an agent too. I just. I think, I think we all have an agent. We, yeah. Do we all have an yeah, agent? Yeah, yeah. I have one in my skull. I have yeah, one in my yours skull. Is, yours is in your. Yeah, I have a bio. Yeah, my bio monitor. I think mine's actually yeah. like a separate little. As you uh, call your superior, um, there is some. Something blocking outgoing um, communication. Mm, don't like so that. as you start to do that, it hangs up almost immediately. Huh. I assume uh, if I try to dial out to, with my internal agent, I get the same thing? Same thing. Well, for posterity, I'm going to record a very bad review of the cruise line. <laughs> <laughs> as you sit there. Scathing. <laughs> utterly scathing. What does that sound like? <laughs> Gentle content consumer, this is Hunter B. Gathering, uh, your 
Intrepid reporter, uh, on board to this cruise line, I've received good service up to this point, but now I find myself locked in my cabin, and if this is the sort of way that they treat customers, well, I certainly can't recommend that you employ their services. Uh, walking over to my briefcase, I open it up, uh, revealing a collection of drugs, though not uh, the drugs that you might be used to. Uh, no, they're all nostalgic. Uh, sheets of blotter acid emblazoned with colorful Jack Kirby characters, for example. Uh, bags of plant matter. Uh, he digs through, uh, pulls out uh, one of six fresh grapefruits that he has. Begins cutting it into chunks, slowly eating it, washing it down with rum. So, just happy. And it's just... just no, just no, I'm, I'm not, not happy at all. I'm no, quite, no, just, quite, uh, but I'm sure someone will deal with this sooner or later. I like it. And I do uh, yell out, it's like, I have registered a complaint! <laughs> it's good. It's good. Mm. Yuri. Yes. What do you uh, do? So I'm in the room, s sitting. Yes. Uh, you know, virtuality goggles on. Mm -hmm. And uh, all, all you, you hear from Yuri is, oh, shit. <laughs> Not again. And, uh, and I look for access points around. Do you see any? Okay. Uh, do I have any? So you know that the ship, and again, you, you kind of scoped out the ship prior to coming on board. Uh, and you know that there is an access point um, as sort of part of the communication slash ordering system of the ship. Yep. And so there's a screen just to the right of the door, and that's where you order any food that you want or anything like that. You can purchase things on, on, on board, okay. as well as communicate with other rooms or whatever the case may be. All right. But you know that there's obviously an, a data access point there. Okay, so I head over to the data access port. Yes. And I jack in. Okay, <laughs> we have a jacking sound. He's been ready to say that. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. That is visceral. That was I like, yeah. I am in. <laughs> I am in. Not even. That's all I say. I am in. <laughs> okay. Good. So you're currently jacked in. And yep. the way that net architectures work, uh, the internet is no more. Uh, and it was obliterated throughout the net last, again, number of decades. Uh, and but, but there is a net architecture for most data systems, mm. some sort of infrastructure that you are able to navigate. In the book, it talks about it looking a little bit like an elevator mm. where there are, there are floors of, of access and you can go deeper if you want, but of course, the deeper you go, the more chance there is to um, get lost or hurt or whatever the case may be. Um, with your situation, it's a bit different than it used to be. Before, you would jack into the internet and be completely um, unaware of the world around you. Um, but now you have virtuality goggles that allow you to see and navigate that architecture without actually being inside it. So you actually have real world actions, which are called meat actions, mm -hmm. with your meat body. <laughs> meat. Yeah, I know. And then there are also virtual actions, which you can t net take, actions. net actions, which you can take within the infrastructure of the architecture. Yeah. Okay. Um, what was the first action, or what is the first thing that you would like to do or search for? So yes. you, get to get, you get to that kind of first level of access within the infrastructure. Yes. Uh, I would like to uh, use my interface uh, ability yeah. to log into the, the net. And then uh, in the architecture on the first level, uh, do I encounter anything? It's a password. It's a password. Yes. And so at first, you know, obviously, that this is a fairly rudimentary system. Mm -hmm. uh, it is used for customer service and for menial tasks, as like I said, ordering room service or making complaints, things like that, of that nature. Um, but there is a password to go any further than kind of the, like the base level. Mm. And has Yuri ever dealt with this particular password in the past? I uh, don't. No. Okay. So I will then find an, uh, a skill that will help me to uncover the password okay. uh, in said architecture. <laughs> While you do that. Yes. Uh, can you give me a, I believe there's a perception check? There is. Uh, uh, while you're standing at yes, that door. absolutely. And I will still be just tearing it up if I can. Yeah, and you can give me one as well. Okay. I rolled an 18 on I'm going to say you're so deep into your grapefruit. Oh, yeah, of course. You're only perceiving what is currently I rolled an 18. in the room. I am yelling on occasion, though. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> and it's uh, you know, things yeah. like, uh, get me out of here, you swan. Yeah. Oh. So with an 18, you hear muffled groans and yells from across. From across the way? From across I, know, the I know those groans. Okay. Yeah. Doctor of Journalism you, in here. You okay. also hear, oh. uh, you also hear uh, movement outside of your door, muffled movement, because they're fairly like 
um, reinforced doors. Yes. Um, and uh, obviously, you gave it a pretty good shot. Uh, but you do hear movement of kind of like rushed uh, walking or steps. Or is there a, 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 I mean, it's a, like a hotel room door into some way. Is there a way to look out and see? Yes. So as you kind of flip the the little pee hole, pee, 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 Whoa. pee hole. Whoa. Different hole. Pee, 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 pee hole. The pee hole. The pee hole. The pee hole. pee hole. Pee, pee, I believe pee. it's called a pee pee hole. <laughs> <laughs> the pee hole. Oh, as you look out, you actually see who you recognize to be the corporate individual, kind of a, a man, salt and pepper hair, kind of pass in front of your Is he door. one of the ones that was supposed to be on either side of yes. me? Oh, okay, this pisses Ix. Okay. So Ixtal uh, realizes that if the door is solid metal, more than likely the walls are not. Here's the thing about the way people build stuff is they make the door super structural because they know people will try to kick it down, but not the walls, which tend to be a little bit thinner. So she picks up a chair and she's gonna make a running uh, motion and she's gonna try to barrel through an empty space of the wall near the door, which okay. won't usually have, say, a magnetized lock on it. It'll okay. just be a a wall. A wall, okay. Uh, that is a- um, Brawl? Um, I would say, Yes. Okay. Um, br um, yep, and you have a rate of attack of two on your brawling. Um, yes, a level two. And you did on your martial arts too, so you could, I guess, hit the door twice. Um, oh, okay. And so uh, the rate of fire. So your rate of fire on brawl is it's two. two. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so I got a critical. Okay, so that comes out to be 20. Uh, 25. 25. Okay, on your first one. So you take that chair. Uh, and if you can roll damage on that, you haven't. Yes, I yet, right? will. I, I don't know how to roll chair damage. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, I can do it if, if it's if it's by brass knuckles or the knuckles, if you want. Yeah, we'll, I don't mind punching yeah, by do, fists either. That's let's fine. Do that, sure. Okay, so that would be eleven for the first one. I had a fifteen brawl, and then an eight for the second for that damage. Okay. Um, what you thought was the case earlier, not so much. Just because it's important that everything is so reinforced because of fire damage and, and mm -hmm. you're on a ship in the middle of the ocean, mm -hmm. and so everything is actually quite structurally strong. Um, but with those two shots, you put two big dents in the in wall. In the wall? Does it seem like it's gonna give faster than the door will? Probably not. Do I uh, hear this? I do have amplified hearing for cyberware. Yes, give me a perception check. Um, and what does your amplified hearing do and improve? It gives me a plus for... two on all perception. Rules. There you go. That'll nice. Be nice. We love that. That'll... My perception was a 13, by the way. What is perception under so awareness, you know. I would assume? I believe so. Great. So it is a 13, is. and then I'll add another plus two. So that is a total of 23, then. Roll to 21 with my bonus, and then... Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, with a 23, you absolutely hear this... <clears throat> uh, you heard this first one, which kind of, like, made you almost drop your grapefruit. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then you hear an additional two... Uh, and it's coming from across the way, and you know that it's kind of in the vicinity of potentially where Ixtal's... So across the hall, essentially. Yes, across the hall. Ooh. Uh, well, I'll uh, sort of go over to the door and just like, oh, let's start banging on it. I'm in here! I'm in here! Help! Okay. So my goal was to try to get out in time to catch this corporate scum, because I yeah. hate them. Yeah. And he's out, and he knows what's going on, and all I need to do is get my hands on him long enough to figure it out. Sure. Um, so I'm just... What I hear, I keep hearing this muffled like... Mm! Ixtal probably believes somebody's in trouble um, and continues to just like wail on this wall. I mean, okay. something's got to give eventually. Okay, before you do that, go back to Yuri. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry, how do you have, make a perception uh, check? 13. Okay, with a 13, um, you do hear movement outside of the door as you kind of listen at the door, but that's pretty much all you get. So there are people milling outside of your room currently. Do I know as a worker of this ship, once these things, one, has this happened before? Mm. Uh, oh, that's very good. Do you have a skill that would allow Oh, to God! Use? Yeah, let's figure this out. You can go to Yuri real quick. Yeah, let's go to Yuri. Okay. <laughs> so, uh... He's to trying get, to break through the password. To get into, actually, to get into the net... Yes. I, it was required for me to roll an yes. interface check. Okay. So I rolled the interface yes. check. Yes. And the interface check turned up 17. Okay, <laughs> 17. <laughs> um, you're able to get in. Okay. Yes. Good. So now I see password. Yes. Now, okay. Password. Now I will have to uh, start program yeah. called Sia. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. See you? See ya. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and what does see ya do? Uh, so what see ya does is... <laughs> <laughs> increases all club and there are sea dudes so, on board uh, you saw them earlier and maybe I, you're just thinking man that would have been great right uh, now what instead that means, of been stuck in my what room what that yeah. means says sea does increases all pathfinder checks yes you make by plus two we're not uh, playing pathfinder <laughs> it's oh, the wrong table <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. I wish I had my sad trombone sound in this sound wah, set, wah, wah. but uh, it's um, in the wrong. I'm in the wrong so, sirenscape. So, um, yeah. As long as this program remains rest, so it has to stay activated. So activating allows me a plus two on checking out the infrastructure of the building. Right. Um, That's what Sia. Is. Okay, but uh, you have to get through the password first in order to be able to do that. No. Oh, you're. You may be right. I'm not sure, storyteller. Okay, read, just read it in Joel voice. Okay, so it says yeah, increases. <laughs> so the boost, <laughs> cla- class booster. Because there's just a lot of extra color that I need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pierce through that color. That's, yeah. So um, increases all Pathfinder checks you make by plus two as long as this program remains rezzed. Okay. That's okay. Really... So, so you're using your CEO. Pass uh, my program, program in order to, to through gain your advantage. Got it. Through your data. Um, Correct. Yes. Through my okay. cyber deck. Cyber deck. Um, so you're going to have to use a Pathfinder action. Yes. I believe is what the thing is. Yes. Which you'll have to come back to me later. Okay. So so currently you're he's trying to figure it yeah. out. He's currently using a program. So either yes. deduction, which is about finding clues and aspects of uh, to try to figure out what could be the overall solution, yes. Yes. or concentration, which allows me to recall certain moments in history and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. Uh, you tell me which one you want to use, and I will tell you. The higher of the numbers, of course. Uh, which is? Uh, deduction. deduction. Uh, yeah, deduction. I would like to try to figure out if I can tell what is going on based on Mm, no, I can't even bull. This is when you have a good player at the table. This is about history. This is about figuring out what has happened before and trying mm. to recall what was the aftermath after it okay. or how long it lasted. Sure. It's sure. going to be concentration. Uh, it's yeah. okay. It's okay to have a bad roll. Yes. Mm. It wasn't a bad roll. It it's a, a 22. Well, 22. I, I rolled okay. very well. Very good. Very good. So with that 22, um, you remember this happening before. Typically, they lock the cabins if there is an issue on board where the inhabitants aboard a vessel are safer in their cabins than they are outside of their cabins. Mm -hmm. And so either to protect them from each other or to protect them from something else. Um, Or if there is nefarious, uh, something nefarious happening on board in order to isolate everyone so that they can then figure out what's going on. Then I have Two more questions. Yes. One, why did they then isolate someone of the trauma team who can help? Mm -hmm. You don't know. That's a problem for me, which tells me this is not something regulated by the ship or someone that is in control that I know, at least. Sure. Because I would be someone they would call for Mm -hmm. this, being Mm -hmm. one of the only trauma techs on this uh, ship. Secondly, do I know this one, since we we have worked on the ship together, apparently? Uh, You've been on the ship for a couple days, so absolutely. If if you think that your characters would have potential... I'm going to try to agent this one. Okay. And which I, and my, also, mine is not internal like him. He's yeah. cool. I'm not. Yeah. I guess I have a bio monitor to help with some boat weld yeah. and stuff. So sure. I, I pull out and I try to contact Yuri, mm-hmm. knowing that he might be able to buy fast some information, especially because I could not access my superior earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to say, Yuri, what the fuck is going on? Help. No, no answer. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> so um, I was blocking your agent ability to communicate with the this server. is why i need yuri because he knows how to think these things he fixes my phone i fix his face it's a good deal win-win <laughs> I, guess, I guess so i would say that you have worked again on previous missions or yes. previous yeah okay got it great together then i can't do anything okay hmm. all right yuri i'm trying to find out if i'm trying to find out if zapping the password is it with a zap it yeah command? so so i believe the zap it command is uh specifically for black ice yes okay yes that is a, a, a specifically a combat thing so a pathfinder action i believe is, is pathfinder is one of the net rare actions yeah i just i just can't find it yeah, oh it is yes yes net yes, actions. yes 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 net actions to reveal the map of a net action architecture which is what i was trying to do so gain advantage with a sia over a Pathfinder act. Right, and I believe a password blocks your ability to be able to see any further into that architecture. Yes, I, I believe think. you. I believe you're correct. Um, although, 
I th- do you think Pathfinder did? No, you know what? I think Pathfinder tells you how many floors there are in it an architecture. Tell, okay, so this is what it says. Tell, the yeah. higher your role, you. the more you learn. This tells you Got generally it. what yeah, yeah. is right. in the net architecture That's that right. you have just broken into, but not the DV of everything. Mm-hmm. Got it. So given that I've been I've been thwarted with a password, um, I have to attempt to no. So roll. Past. So yeah. roll your pa- yeah yeah. So you're okay. trying to see you're trying to use your Pathfinder. So okay. let's do that. Uh, I don't. Uh, so you're trying to map the architecture. Don't know Sorry for everybody at home that loves Cyberpunk Red. Yes, right. like, we are learning, and you are, are learning, not allowed to fun. judge us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it's right there, y'all. It's right there. Where? No, I said they're going to oh. be like that. Oh. <laughs> it should be under, if it's tied to your. Yeah, under Net Runner interface, it should have actions there, but not me. Netrunner. I, we are new. Is it under your cyberware? Is it part of your cyberware? I don't think so. But let me check. Here. Do you need that? No, I don't. I'm looking at this. Interface abilities pathfinder allows the net runner to learn the map of the architecture. Right. The question yes. is. So it is just an in, it is roll your interface. Oh, it's interface. It is a roll an interface roll? Yeah, it is an interface roll. Okay, cool. Then that's easy. Then that's to do. much easier, yeah. Yes. Okay. But well, I guess within that, you can decide what you want to do. So and then you a, give that bonus yes. you were talking uh, about. Uh, yeah. Assume, yeah, okay, cool. So I'll do an interface roll. Okay. Um, and again, this is... Well, you you did your interface roll, right? I did an original interface roll. So you roll, have to do one for each, 17. for each action? It looks like that's, okay. that's how it works. Okay. So far, that's what okay. I can tell. Okay, so um, let's do another one. Okay, so that should have rolled now. Um, and where are you? Let's see. Did that roll come through? Ooh. Yes. Nope. Oh, yes. Here we go. Bonus. Oh, I do get a bonus. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm getting it. Okay. Interface 18 on that roll. Nice. Okay. Um, with an 18, and you are currently pathfinding, right? You're tra- yep. currently trying to, to figure pathfind. out the, the, the map. Yeah, the map of the architecture. Okay. Um, what you see is that there are three levels to this architecture. The okay. first one has a password, as said. And there are two other levels to this. Okay. Um, you don't know necessarily what's behind those doors, right. but but you know that there are three levels. I thwarted the first level. Yes. I'm going to find out what is on the next. Well, the, fir- the first level you have to deal with the password. Password. Yes. yes. Which was was that's not the pathfinder. Though. I think there's a back door. Yes. Action that you have to use in yes. order to get through. There must be. It is, and the, it is still an end of. Code. Everything's going to be based interface. out of interface, interface but you might have certain mm-hmm. skills okay. better yes. within that. Yes, yes. yes. And that is your Netrunner abilities, correct? Yes. 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 Esports. Okay. Just go over here while he's figuring that out. Yeah. Poey, Bay. Okay. Um, okay. I. How big is this window, this porthole? Uh, it's about uh, 12 inches by 12 inches. So the, the likelihood of me getting through it is low? Yes. You hear, come over here, red woman. <laughs> I ate this boat. I ate it so much. And she continues just like tearing at the okay, wall. Okay, give me two more shots. Yep, she's just going to keep fighting yep. through. Once she's out, she can... Actually, you know what? Here's a better... I, a question. Is there a sprinkler system in this room? Uh, interesting. Most boats come with a sprinkler yes. system in each yeah, room. Of course. Most boats also usually override mm-hmm. locking mechanisms to let people out if there's an internal fire because they have to evacuate. I yeah. That. I was more so scared. I'd like to start a fire, please. Okay. Jesus. All right. How would you like to start this fire? That's a great question. What have I got on me? I have a few uh, ammo rounds, so I do have enough gunpowder. I don't need like an explosion. <laughs> Not ready to sink the boat yet. Sure. Um, let's see what I've got on me that I could use to do this. Um, there's got to be some like I don't know. It's a future paper or trash or something. A oh, trash bin. Is there a metal trash bin around? Start. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So I got. She she gives up. She puts the knuckles away yeah. um, and gathers some trash from around the room. Papers, plastics, things that burn um, and smoke a lot more than actually like flame. Sure. And puts it in a metal bin, sure. uh, dumps a little gunpowder in it, and then I, she's going to try to start a fire, whether it's a survival-based thing, like she uses a combat knife. And, yeah, so whatever you know, skill you think that you have that would make sense for... Great question. Um, I think this is probably going to be some kind of intelligence-based option. Okay, not a pilot. Let's see. Technique. You. you Check my technique. No. Um, this is so, so interesting, the way they have this laid out. What do I want to... Oh, I ignore my conversation. That was a one conversation <laughs> that I have with myself as I try to figure out how to start a fire in this room. It's not demolitions? Um, 
No, that demolitions. Make no sense. Oh yeah, I saw that. I, I mean, I guess I could use demolitions. That just seems like more of an explosive. Yeah, I agree. Option. Um, what about? It's not my best role, but a streetwise how to start a fire. Sure. Uh, could possibly be an option. Um, what do I have for education? Tactics. I have good tactics. Totally tactics. Um, sure. As a tactical person, yeah. maybe that. Well, that's, Let's do that. Okay, a twenty-one. Okay. All right, with a 21, you managed to, to, to set a fire fairly easily. <laughs> that conversation and, uh, was so bad. As you like reach in, you grab your lighter. <laughs> and you're like, okay, and you like paper. It's like the most rudimentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah little yeah. things like that. Okay, oh, so duh. once you've set this fire and it's starting to flame and there's smoke coming out, you kind of hold it up sort of where you think the sensor might be. Yeah. And the sprinkler system in this isn't like a typical like mm -hmm. like sprinkler system, but there's like vents in the top. Of course, of course. Um. So I, I basically try to start a fire to see if the natural system of the boat will override the locking mechanism to let people out. Because if it starts dropping water, these metal pods that we're all staying in will fill with them. Sure. So my hope is that maybe it'll actually just undo the lock. Sure. So as you hold it up, um, there is, I'm looking, I'm still looking for like a buzzer. Uh, a like, good like buzzer. Like a warning, like a good buzzer sound. I know Cyberpunk's got one in here. I'm sure they do. Um, Cyberpunk, uh, Sirenscape. Did I say Sirenscape or Cyberpunk? You said Cyberpunk. Okay, Sirenscape. Right. Uh, Cyberpunk. <laughs> Cyberpunk. Um, and as that happens, um, the there's these almost like a vent, these two vents along the top, and it starts to spray this foam like. A material into the room, uh, kind of like a <laughs> like a fire extinguisher would, like, yes. and like covers Everything. every inch of this room, including yes. yourself. And I imagine you like going to your glasses and like and yeah, like and, like away. them, and the door is still shut. Am I uh, hearing any of this? <laughs> Do you have applied hearing? Yeah, sure. Yes, so I would you say probably that hear me. Yeah. yeah, you hear yeah screaming I'm, and, and, foul, and, and foul language yeah. and a <laughs> sound. Just piss. All right. Well, I finish off the grapefruit and polish off the rest of the room. <laughs> yes. And you've completed your your review of the oh yes of certainly. the cruise. Yeah. 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 No yeah. stars. No stars. Yeah. Afraid, I, like uh, afraid I can't uh, spare even one. So <laughs> I'm going to. I think. Well, if I'm stuck in here, I'm going to peel off one of the tabs of Jack Kirby acid. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Go Probably down take with a the little boat. while to kick in anyway. <laughs> Put it on my tongue. Enjoy the alkali taste. And wash it down with the last of the room. Okay. Um, I think at some point, um, there's like a, a resignation and an annoyance, but eventually, um, if I hear any type of footsteps or anything's outside, I'm going to literally start banging on my door, um, being like, I am a trauma taken. I can help. Get me out of here. Mm. This is not going to be helpful for anyone. If I am stuck in here and people are dying outside, Okay, mm. I like that. Uh, give me what, do you have like a performance or something that is... My, I mean, I people like me because I heal them. <laughs> so I'm going to assume, this is on the social side, I'm going to assume this is conversation. It could be persuasion. Um, it's not really bribery. If it's something I'm trying to convince people, it will be persuasion. If it's someone coming by and they hear me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. great. Oh, that's not what it was. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fire icon. It says sterilization protocols, and I, I, you were hoping for. Was, yeah, I was hoping for. A that's okay. I liked the I liked the magical boop boop. So <laughs> there you go. There it is. There it is. And she's like, "Shut the fuck up!" And she's like, just so angry. Yeah. No. Did you just die? Yeah. Oops. Did laptop just die? Mm -hmm. Yuri's not very. <laughs> Things are not very technical. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> what was your role? Your, your well, I was checking something. Can you see what I actually rolled uh, for the D10? You sure you rolled a twelve. I know, but what was the roll of the D10? There. I can't hover over. Oh, oh, you can't hover. Uh, the roll of the D10 was a seven. It was a seven. Never mind. All right, then I was a twelve. Yeah. Okay, so you're you're <laughs> smashing away, and currently you are hearing nothing necessarily on the other side of okay. that door. I'm going um, to uh, flip through my radio scanner. Do I pick you up any broadcast whatsoever? Anything? Uh, Can I even get music? Yeah, so um, roll a d6. 
six. D6, just wild? Yeah, and so you're getting a lot of static. Um, there's a lot of interference right now, and it seems like there are there is something sort of, uh, again, that's interrupting a, sy uh, uh, system. That's a three on the D6. Okay, just with a three, country uh, is this is the music mm. that, that you kind of like, start. from and like, and yeah, 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 and like old school country. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, like, it really like is. Like I say, Okie from Muskogee. <laughs> yeah, Okie from Muskogee mm. is what you get. Mm. Interesting. All right. All right. I'll uh, tune in. I only seem to be able to get country. Oh, right now, yes. Would you say is... that uh, one toke over the line is country? Is there... <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Right. Sure, right. absolutely. I'm listening to one toke over the line. Okay, I like that. No, we haven't uh, oh, and speaking of which, I'll, uh, I'll uh, spin one up. Roll that. Okay. Yep. Again, it's old fashioned. <laughs> yeah. Plant, it's fine. Yeah, Natural. It's fine. <laughs> No, okay, you, you are too. currently yeah. giving yeah, it. Bad. All I got, yeah. So I was wearing a bunch of leisure wear, which is now covered in, oh, that's right, in, yeah. in flame, uh, anti flame foam, yeah. uh, which I shed. I, she had to do it anyways. Yeah. Uh, and she actually puts on her, her armor jacket, um, like the armor that she brought, which is probably in like a hidden suitcase under the bed with all of her gear sure. and stuff. Um, and then she goes back to smashing away. Would you like another melee weapon? Yes, Double I would. melee. Okay. While she's doing that, I got him for him. Um, he initially rolled an 11 for interface. Okay. However, luck. How does luck work? Luck pool. Uh, Tell us about you luck. Have to, you have to say it before you roll. Oh. Which, and so you have to be like, I want to add this many luck points. You have, If you have seven, you can use up to seven throughout the session in order to like it's like a plus to your roll. Yep. But you have to say, I want to use luck for this. Oh, so it's like roll. for every point, you just add one point to the roll? Yeah. It's not like a re-roll. No. Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's how it works. Okay. So I rolled a 15 and 18. So 15, 18, and then I did another total 18 points of damage on the wall. Okay. On what else? I, what I had already done, I guess. And so how, so how much damage? Another 18. 18? All right. At this point, in, on the wall or the door? The wall. Uh, well, the question is, what had I done the most damage to? The, the I, wall. The wall, yeah, so wall. it would be the wall. Okay. So you uh, hit it tw two more times, and you see that there is like a fracture now in the wall on the one side. Nice. And you're, you see a bit of light sort of trailing in from, from through that through that. Crack. Okay. That's, that's, uh, that is very Thank doable. Um, now, can I get my fingers in it? Yeah, no. It's, oh, okay. it's just hairline. It's just a hairline yeah, fracture. Yeah, That's all right. The light coming through. Another two punches will do me good. Yeah. That's all I, I she's just gonna, gonna keep going till she can get it open enough where either she can pry it back or yell some profanities at somebody else in the freaking hallway um, and figure out what the hell's going on. Okay. Now, I have a question about our agents. Yes. Does every, I'm guessing everybody's agent is different. It's, it, it, it does the same things, but how you, like it, how does it manifest? Like theirs is internal, but I don't imagine hers is. Yeah, I imagine it's almost like a, like a phone or a tablet um, of some sort. Of some kind? Yeah. Okay. All right. Just for my knowledge. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. All right. Yuri, are you back? Yes. Uh, I will attempt a back door. Mm. Okay. I have used up two net actions. Okay. I have a total of four net actions to use. Yeah, per, it, per round. turn. Yeah, per, per round. Per round. And, and it's open right now. You're not in rounds, so that's okay. fine. So, um... So I will attempt to thwart this password with that back door, okay. and I have to, uh, yeah, I just have to roll. Crap, yeah. one second. Oh, um, no. And my laptop died. So <laughs> That's great that for the Netrunner. Significantly more difficult. Is it back? Um, it will come okay, back. Okay, it's coming back. Okay, Eventually. just giving us some time. Uh, is there, I would, I'm happy to roll for it. I would yes. just do it, yeah. That's okay. how I was doing it. But then, like, it, so then it immediately yeah. accidentally closed out. I got you. <laughs> It'll ask for a bonus. You can just put zero there. Okay, uh, and you're rolling for, uh, what's, what are we rolling for? For interface. Oh, sorry, roll that was a interface. interface. Interface, ignore that roll. That was a quick click. Interface, is that in your technique? It is inside nope, it of is my separate. roll actions. Oh, I gotta go to the bottom. Roll, roll, yeah. yeah. Roll interface. Oh, yes. Okay. Rollability, right? Yeah, and, and then, then it'll two. ask for like, yeah. Okay, you rolled a 16. Okay, so password. Yes, so doop, 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 doop. Um, you're able to, <laughs> yeah. uh, and you're able to actually forego the password. It okay. goes away, and you're able to get down to the next level. Okay. As the next level door opens, um, there is a file that you see that is oh. kind of bouncing um, with information within yes. it. Um, I would like to go and get the uh, use my ID. That's right. To get ID action to get the file, please, yes. and yes. save said yes. file. Yes. Uh, so I will need another interface roll, please. Interface roll with a two says a Ooh. twenty-three. Oh, Ooh. Yuri feels very proud of Easy. himself. Yeah. 
hundred percent. Rolls it does it quite well at this particular action. Sure, sure. This file outlines the actions that have been taken with this, and basically like a history of things uh, of this interface of, of the infrastructure. Um, and what you see and what you gain, the information that you gain is that um, the out the room doors to each of the of the cabins were manually and specifically initiated. Mm -hmm. that, Can I that none of them, like not all of them, it wasn't a, a ship-wide sort of quarantine. It was very, very specifically. And can I tell which doors in which portions of the ship are closed? And yes. Which ones are open? Yes. <laughs> okay. Very clearly, the people around the table. <laughs> so just the four of us just were locked down. Just the four down. of us were locked down. Okay. Um, and that is what you gained from that file specifically. Okay. I will. Uh, I will uh, save the file. Yes. Which I can do sure. as part of this sure. ID. And. I will uh, rem use my last net action to jack out. Okay, so you're out. I'm out of the inter interface. Now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Architecture done. What, I turned, what did you there, just there, were, there were there were there were more. I jacked out. Okay. All right. <laughs> there, there were more <laughs> levels of the interface. You know that of the interface. No, I know. Okay. I'm there not sure I want to face any black eyes while I'm down in there. Okay. You know what I mean? Got it. Yes. Get what I you get need. It. Get sure. what. Sure. You need to get out. That's what I always said. Yes. Right? No. 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 <laughs> so I pulled myself out yes. of there, jack out, last yes. action or whatever. And, yes. And, and uh, now and you're then in your locker. I turn to my, oh, right, I have no friends. <laughs> no, you're, Not you're in alone room, you're, you're in the room. Right. I can only assume someone else more adept at uh, physical world things, yes. <laughs> meet things, yes. uh, will uh, somehow get these doors open. Okay. Yes. All we right. are all just stuck. <laughs> Cyberpunk <laughs> doors. <laughs> every TTRPG. Doors. Every TTRPG. Every, all, every doors, doors are a problem. Yeah. I mean, I, I can go. I'm going through walls. Yeah. Question. Yes. The external walls of these room seem to be made of metal. What about the wall that goes into the room next door? Hmm. Does it? If I tap it, does it seem it's made of the same material? Yeah. Okay. Well then, I'm just gonna keep punching, and she, she's gonna play. Go on the boat, they said. It'll be fun, <laughs> they said. You know, and she's just yeah. like just yeah. wailing on this yeah. wall. Yeah. Um, oh, that's Yuri. The Yuri, you don't have the same mm. stats. I do I not. Let's do melee weapon again. That would be a 14. That's not the strongest roll. A 214, surprisingly enough. Um, and then the actual damage to go with that would be uh, 211. So 22 additional points with 14 on each of the melee weapon attacks. Okay, all right. So as you continue to bash at this door, finally with those two shots, you manage to break through um, and you uh, don't have an area big enough yet to get through necessarily, sure. but you can kind of see what's going on. Um, you see that the hallway actually, the, the lights go down and the emergency lights come on, these kind of, this kind of mm. red glow. And you see what appears to be flashlights coming from down the hallway to um, the right, shining down this hall that you're in. Okay. And they're kind of like, like searching. Oh, I'm on this map. Look at me. Something. Cute. Okay. What the fuck is going on over there? <laughs> Do, uh, I'm guessing if they have flashlights, this is security. Give me a perception or whatever. Something equivalent. Or deduction uh, check. Oh, or a deduction. I think my perception is there. Yes. Oh, a 25. Okay. Um, with a 25, with your history, obviously, in your given profession, um, no, this isn't security. It seems tactical. Oh, damn it. And you hear the sound of what appear to be or sound like, like combat style boots on stairs coming down to this level. This level? Yes. And it sounds like multiples, probably three to five individuals. Okay. Immediately I get up. It's time to turn this room upside down. There's foam everywhere. Yeah. I grab the mattress immediately yeah. and yeah. toss it on the door because yeah. I know what I know what's about to go down. I sure. know it. I barricade the door with like nice. furniture and all that kind nice. of stuff so that they can't get in. Yes. And then um I know I've like beat through the inside of this metal wall, which means it's just kind of creaking outward yeah. a little bit. Um, <laughs> there's got to be like a towel 
or something sure. that I can hang in front of it in case I walk by so they don't see my light passing into the hallway. Okay. Um, and on the other side of the towel is my gun pointing through the hole, just kind of waiting okay. uh, to see what their action is. Because if they go to attack anybody else, yeah. uh, I think Ixtal will make, uh, will take a, a shot. Yeah, okay, all right. And from on the other side of that wall, you hear a voice, they kind of, you hear like the boots stop in and around where that crack is and you hear, we have a breach. And that is where we're gonna end no. the session. Oh. What? Oh. what, what, what? And what? we'll be right back. You know, I Within haven't a... left my room. All I've done is drop acid and drink crack. <laughs> <laughs> It's perfect for a media. Okay. It's, uh, it's awesome. Right. Sponsored uh, by MSC Cruise yes. Lines. <laughs> yes. Tune in for part two of our part three one shot next week. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for learning cyberpunk with us. Thank you for your grace. Thank you to our sponsors. And we will see you next week. Bye, y'all.